Did you know that YouTube has a brand new tool that helps us creators to know what exactly our audience is interested in, what content is popular in our corner of the platform, and also the content gaps in our corner of the platform so that we can make more of what people are searching for but not finding results for. This is a tool that YouTube first came out with a little bit over a year ago, but that really wasn't all that useful, had a lot of room for improvement, and has since gotten a major, major facelift and is now a lot more useful for us creators. Still with a little bit of room for improvement in my own opinion, but definitely still very, very useful and interesting to play around with as a creator. So to access this little hidden tool, you want to make sure that you're in the YouTube Studio app on your phone or a mobile device. From there, you want to go into the analytics tab on the bottom bar of the app and then into the research tab on the top bar. Now, once you are inside of this tool, the amount of data that's going to be given to you is going to range depending on how long you've had your channel for, your audience size, and basically how much data YouTube has been able to gather when it comes to your audience's engagement on the platform. I did a little bit of messing around with this tool on both this current channel and also in an active channel that has no videos posted, no subscribers, and no data. And while the results on both of these channels were very, very different, the tool still does work very similarly for everybody. But just be aware that the data and information that YouTube gives you does depend on those different factors. So at the very top of this research tab, you're going to see a little search bar that says explore topics. In here you can search for literally any video topic you want, whether that's video editing, whether that is college, high school, dogs and pets, Disney World, literally whatever you create videos or content about. So let's say for example I was a Disney World creator, I watched so many of those channels and videos when I was planning my trip. So I know there are a ton of channels out there about that topic and a whole lot of content. So if I go ahead and search for Disney World, it's going to bring up a whole ton of search terms that are related to Disney World. But to get the most amount of data possible, I'm going to stay with a search term that is more broad and more general, and I'm going to stick with just Disney World. So after you perform this search at the very top of the page, you're going to see your audience's interest in this topic. Of course, because I'm not a Disney World creator, I don't make any videos on my channel about Disney. YouTube has basically no data when it comes to my audience and this topic, so that information is not available to me. But if a YouTube channel that makes videos all about Disney World or Disney as a whole were to make that same search, there would be a little bar at the top that tells them their audience's interest in that topic. Then underneath that, it's going to say searched on YouTube. And if you hit that little arrow at the very end of the bar, it's going to give you a long, long list of related keywords and searches that people are performing on YouTube related to that topic. Specifically, search terms that have very, very high volume, which means that every one of these topics, a large number of people are searching for this topic on YouTube. Which means that if you as a creator were to make a video around this topic, you stand a chance of reaching a whole lot of people searching for that topic. Then if you look at the top, there is a little bubble that says all which you're already under. Then beside the all bubble, there's a second bubble that says content gaps. And basically what content gaps means is that it's a keyword or a search term that a high volume of people are searching for on YouTube or Google, but that there aren't enough video results out there actually covering, which is a golden opportunity for us creators because if a high volume of people are searching for any given topic or search term and there aren't really any videos out there answering that question or giving them the content they're looking for, that is a golden opportunity for you to make a video about that topic and get that volume. As I've discussed in so many of my videos all about SEO, search engine optimization, the winning combo you always want to be reaching for is high search volume and low competition. And by these search terms being under content gaps, that's exactly what they are. It's a topic a lot of people are searching for that has next to no competition. And this is a tool that you can really, really play around with because it has unlimited searches. You could literally spend all day searching for topics and search terms in this tool and just come up with so many search terms and topics and things that your target audience is searching for. Then back over on the main page of the research tab, this is where you get a lot more information specific to your audience. As you scroll down the main page, you're going to see top searches, content gaps for shorts, as well as recent videos for each one of these topics. 
So on my main page, I often get topics related to video editing, influencers, social media, growing on YouTube, Canva, making money online, and all these other topics that I regularly discuss on my channel in my videos. This is going to give you insight into topics and search terms that a high volume of your audience is looking for, as well as the content gaps in your community that a lot of people are searching for but not finding results for that you can make videos about. Now as for how often the information and data given to you is going to change and refresh, it definitely doesn't change daily. So if you're looking to get ideas or suggestions every single day, it doesn't tend to change that often. However, I have checked a couple of weeks and seen it change a couple of times throughout the week, sometimes only once a week, once every two weeks. So usually what I do is I grab this tool, sit down and have little monthly planning sessions. And then if anything changes throughout the week, then I make little adjustments, add some information and all that kind of stuff. But just know that it doesn't use usually change every single day and you do have to wait a little bit of time before it changes up and gives you more data. So that you guys is everything I had to share all about YouTube's new hidden little tool and how to use it to your benefit as a creator. And if you're looking for any more content all about how to build, grow and monetize your social media, then here are two more videos of mine that YouTube thinks you will love.